Hello YouTube, so today I'm back to talk about the Animal Crossing presentation that was uh, aired a few days ago along with the announcement of the Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pack which I already talked about. Um, so I watched the whole thing, it was around what, 30 minutes long? And mostly it was about updates and the upcoming DLC that's also included in the expansion pack. So overall, I thought it was a nice video and I'm kind of wanting to play Animal Crossing again after I watched that video because I kind of stopped playing um, after, I don't know, a few months because I felt like I did everything, you know, I wanted to do on there and the last time I played, I think I was trying to get a particular villager, I mean, uh, I think it was Bob, <laughs> to come over to my place. And I couldn't find him on the island, so I kind of forgot about it and stopped playing. I got tired of trying and trying. <laughs> I was never able to find him because I was trying to fill my uh, island with uh, cats, just cats, and some other animals that I made good friends with, I guess. Um, so yeah, I thought it was cool that they're going to add all that. And I'm not gonna be like uh, giving you guys detail of the video because you, you guys probably already watched it. This is not like a recap video, it's just my opinion. So, um, although I was very excited for my cats are going crazy, uh, all everything that they'll be adding uh, to the game, and it's gonna be the last major update, I guess. I thought that you know the, all that thing, all those stuff would have been should have been sorry included in the original game from the beginning because most of the stuff were stuff that was already in the 3DS uh, New Leaf. So if you guys ever played the original, I mean since the original up until New Leaf, which was the one before New Horizons, you probably noticed that many features were missing or characters were missing or that they've been adding things that were already available in the, you know, 3DS version of the game. So I thought it was kind of, um, I don't know, it feels weird. <laughs> Now I feel like the game will be complete once this update releases, <clears throat> which is good, but at the same time it's kind of disappointing to see that, you know, it didn't release with all this included. Um, I guess I don't mind because the game isn't bad or anything, it's just that it could have been more complete from the beginning. And I guess now it'll be complete. Maybe they should release like a physical version of the game again with all the up updates installed in the cartridge instead of you know having to buy the game and then update it once you get the game so that would be nice like a complete complete edition along with the dlc included and as for the dlc um i guess it's like happy home designer just like the one on the 3ds that was released after new leaf and i really like that game i know that many people complain about it and like you know, saying it was just a ripoff. <laughs> um, they just wanted more money. But I really like the fact that um, they're adding this to New Horizons as DLC. But at the same time, I feel like <clears throat> I would feel more comfortable buying it as a separate game, which I'll explain why later. Um, but for twenty, I think it was twenty five dollars. Uh, I think it's a good price because it's like a whole separate game, just like on the three DS version. You know. Um, I'm happy to see that you'll be able to do more stuff compared to the original Happy Home Designer. And I was able to see some new characters on there at the office and the other island, which is kind of cute. You have the monkey and I think it's like a forest or something. Um, no, manatee, sorry, manatee. Um, and they look cute, which is good. And um, the thing I didn't like about this is that, okay, you can, and this is going back to the Nintendo like expansion pack, um, you can pay for the DLC and you get the whole thing, right? You get, if you have the game, of course, you can play it whenever you want, for as long as you want, as long as you have access to your account, um, you can play the DLC just fine. And I guess you can learn to do stuff on the island, which you won't be able to do without the DLC, like making pillars and like crafting stuff that you're not able to craft if you didn't have the DLC. So that's optional, so I don't mind about, you know, that being behind like a paywall. But the thing I don't like is that if you get the DLC from the expansion pack, you're not... Okay, so I read that you're not able to keep everything. 
you have the ability to craft things or make you know do stuff on your own island that you got from the DLC island but you won't be able to go to the island anymore so you won't be able to make new houses for new new uh, animals or you won't be able to go to the facilities over there and take photos and stuff like that so it means that even if you get the DLC via the expansion pack you won't be able to have access to everything from the DLC if your ex uh, expansion pack expires so you always have to have the membership active to be able to access it and i guess they i think they said that if you have the mem membership active again you can access it uh from where you left off which is good i guess but after hearing that it made me realize that i'm definitely not paying for the um expansion pack because i'm not that interested in the 60 nintendo 64 games and i'm definitely not interested at all in the genesis games so the only thing that was um making me think about paying that much was the DLC because I probably get the DLC I'm kind of interested in it but to hear that you won't have access to everything after the membership expires is kind of a letdown and I guess it's not a huge thing but it's not a big deal because it's like it's most likely that within a year I'll stop playing and I'm not gonna go back to visit that island again but just the like the practice you know uh, hey, ch -ch -ch. No. but you know, um, I'm kind of against that practice, I guess. I don't like the idea that they make you buy something that's packaged along with something else and then you're not gonna able to access it complete anymore once you don't have the subscription service. And it's not like, you know, Game Pass where you can download the gameplay and once you don't have Game Pass again, you won't be able to play it. That's fine because that's what it's about, but with Nintendo, I thought that, you know, the DLC was like a gift. <laughs> so it's kind of sad, I guess, unless they keep adding more DLCs from other games or maybe other games included in the membership. I don't see the point in getting the membership at all anymore. So that's why I wanted to make the video just to complain about that because maybe some people don't realize that you won't be able to uh, have the DLC complete when your um, expansion pack expires. So that's a no-no for me. I don't like what Nintendo is doing with this and I'm definitely not paying for the membership unless everybody else wants to pay, you know, in my family plan. In that case, I guess I have to pay the extra five bucks each. I mean, it's about ten dollars each, you know, and I've already paid five bucks. So <laughs> yeah, I guess I will have it. But like, if it was just myself, I, if it was just me deciding, I wouldn't pay for it at all. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought about the Animal Crossing's uh, update, future update, and the DLC, and you know how it's going to be working with the expansion pack. Uh, are you going to be getting the expansion pack because you want to play the Animal Crossing DLC or will you be getting it separately from the expansion pack uh, just to have it, you know, not tied into your uh, membership service? Anyways, thank you so much for watching uh, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.